Okay, welcome back everyone uh, to some more Subnautica. In the last episode, we managed to do some investigating. We took our sea moth out, we found an island, and we came back and we started building our base. Now, in this episode, I would like to expand on the base, get ourselves a food source going, maybe a biofuel reactor, uh, planning on investigating some more of those radio signals, see what's going on. And if we're, if we're lucky, we'll be able to find vehicle bay fragments so that we can begin upgrading our Seamoth to go deeper. Because right now we're at a 200 meter limit and the game goes down much further than that. So without further ado, we're going to get this going. Well, here we are in our, uh, in our home base. Um... I think I'm going to actually start by expanding on this a bit, getting the food and all that. And I'm also going to reinforce it because this the structural integrity is getting a little low and it's just going to get lower as we add on to it. So we'll start with that. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? No, not at all. Okay, so we're f all full up on titanium and some scrap. Now it's time to uh, up update our base a little bit. We want this to go about here, I think. Get this multi-purpose room down. Well, now that we got our extension, um, I'm thinking we'll throw uh, food and all that in here. So let's build ourselves some interior grow beds. Okay, and with that, we have our grow beds. We are going to start loading them up with the melons and potatoes from the last episode. Okay, where did I leave those? Here we go. Uh, potato, potato, melon, melon, melon. Use planter. Potato, potato. And in these front ones, we'll put the melons. There we go. So those should grow over time. We'll come back and check on them later. Uh, we're still going to add more to this base, though. We'll need a biofuel reactor, something to throw the potatoes in. I'm not carrying potatoes as a food source to eat while out on a mission, because as you've noticed, they take up four spaces in my inventory. It's not worth it. But the melons are great because they feed you and I believe they both hydrate you at the same time. Okay, let's see what this radio message has to say. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. That sounded like he forgot to turn off his microphone there. Okay, so that doesn't actually bring us to a new location. We do have to check out with the uh, Aurora Rendezvous, the dry land over there. I'm looking for something that may, may carry a lithium, because I need lithium to strengthen my base. I'm not seeing any. I'm seeing some quartz, though. I could always use some quartz. I'll pick that up. This ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh, wow. I can actually gather that. 
Gabe's feather seed. Interesting. Blood oil. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. Why are there so many of these fish? I keep bumping into them. They're breaking my hull. Enough distractions. Dry land, here we come. Okay, let's just come up in this little lagoon. as acting commander don't turn on their convenience get out of the water if i get into trouble i'll send you my coordinates i can't let you go alone then come with me you don't leave me much choice received emergency transmission from second officer keen two hours after last activity rendezvous was a failure intercepted a transmission from altera hq seems they sent a data package to the aurora we were intercepted by a leviathan class predator before we could reach the ship Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen. Out. Okay, so there it was just a data pad out here. I thought there would be more. Um, yeah, that was kind of a waste of time. Whoa, what's that? Hey, dude. What are you doing? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I don't want to fight. How about I just leave you to it? Okay, cool. Oh, what? Why are you just teleporting around me? What do you want? Okay. Is something following me? Oh no. Oh no. Zoom. Zoom. Get away from that thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, leave me alone. Did I lose it? Oh, I think it's down there. Jeez. That was horrifying. I don't want anything to do with you, buddy. Got these, like, face grabber things. Ugh. Hey, look, a time capsule. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, we got a better knife. I will take that. Some more water, some more food. Perfect. While we're out here, we might collect some stuff for batteries as well. Um, my Seamoth will need a replacement. I don't have anything to recharge them yet, so we'll just stock up on some acid mushrooms and stuff. See if we can get some copper as well. Hey, we got some lithium finally. We have to get some more so we can actually expand our base a bit. There are these like ribbon eels zooming around down here. Gotta watch out for those. I have a feeling those will attack me. What 
What's that? The conditions in this gate support a microcosm unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. New creature discovered. Well, we can put it here. Well, that's quite a bit of stru uh, hull integrity. I might not um, use the next piece of lithium yet until we got a nicer spot for it. I'll save it for later. Okay, let's get some more titanium. We'll add an extension onto this. Uh, get ourselves a proper room for the biofuel stuff to keep this place powered as it expands. Yeah. Oh, we could also build a laser cutter that's what i've been meaning to do uh laser cutter where are we at laser cutter so we need two diamonds oh so we actually do need the diamonds i've got one of them so if i find another diamond we'll get the laser cutter and we'll we'll uh check out the the big wreckage right close to the base gonna scan you sand shark never gonna catch me oh yeah Oh, get over there. Multi-purpose room. We want to go this way off the main base. Like that. Okay, so now we got a big square for a base. It's something. Anyways, we're going to put a biofuel reactor inside so we have enough power for this whole thing. Bioreactor. Let's go put it in this one. There we go. A reliable power source Perfect. is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. Now we can just load that up with potatoes whenever we need energy. There we go. Very good. Now I want to put some more windows up actually. So we can see outside. It's very depressing when we can't see what's going on around us. I'll grab a couple. Grab another quartz there. Uh, two windows should be enough for now. One other window. I'll put one here as well. Sweet. Well, let's decorate this place. Why not? Right? I'm pretty sure I got wall hanging planters. There we go. Did I put that there? What's in the way? Is it this thing? I haven't used this yet, so let's just deconstruct it. That's better. Make this room just a little more homey. I think I'm going to put a potato storage in this room. Just so I have a spot for all this extra. And there we have it. We uh, accomplished one thing we set out to do today, and that was our uh, garden room. So we got some food source, which will also give us power now that we got a biofuel reactor right next door to it. Uh, I'm not sure what we'll do with this space yet. I was kind of hoping this would be the biofuel, but it was a little too far away from the garden room. But we'll make it work. 
sure we'll find a use for it. Okay, let's check out this next radio message. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay, I was kind of hoping that would lead me somewhere. Oh, we could also build ourselves a scanning room. I might actually have all the stuff needed to do this as well. Um, I think I might put that on top, though. I don't really plan on walking into it too often. Or we could actually take apart this side and maybe turn it into the scanning room. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Let's see how it connects first. Okay, I don't need the scanning room too often, so I'm going to actually put it off of the um, biofuel room. Maybe there. Yeah, because then, then I want the vehicle bay to be in this area-ish. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, stupid fish. Leave me alone. Whoa! That was a crazy flip. And these flares are still going. Do they just burn forever? Like, really? I haven't been back here in quite some time. I only came back here because I need some of these bladder fish. I'm running low on water. And maybe I can find some cave sulfur while I'm at it, but I just really don't want these things to explode on me. Radiation detected. Interesting, does that hurt me? I'm gonna stay away from there for now. I might need my lead helmet for that. What do we have down here? Oh, I think I've been down there already. I'm not sure if this is a safe place to be. I would like to find some more shale, because I need another diamond for that laser cutter. And I would like more lithium. I'm certain I don't have enough of that. Hey, we found part of the Cyclops, though, so we'll be able to make a larger... Oh my god, what's attacking me? I don't want any part of that. That scared me. Took off half my health, too. Yeah, what do we got down here? Was I at this life pod before? Hey, a toy car. Hat. Um, some sort of bobblehead. I wonder if that's one of the developers. Leave me alone. I'm all disoriented. Where am I? Okay, let's go this way. Nope, nope, nope. Leave me alone.
Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, I don't want to go down much deeper, but there may be something worth scanning around here, so let's swim around and see if we can find something. Like, is this thing in the water scannable? Moon pool. I, I think that's what I need for... Yeah, that's what I need. I, if I can find one more, that that's part of my today's goal. Hey, another moon pool fragment. Beautiful. I really want that on the base. No lithium, no shale fragments, no diamonds, but moon pool is very important. Come on, something useful. Nope. Diamond. Okay, we can make our laser cutter. I don't like being in this area because I feel like one of those... Um, crazy looking monsters will come out and get me. And with that, we should have enough. We should have everything we need now for our moon pool. That'll be good. That'll allow us to start upgrading our sea moth to go to even deeper depths. Okay, so I'm going to throw this here. It doesn't seem to want to connect right away. Uh, maybe if I do that. Okay, there we go. It is now connected. Let's dock. This thing's really cool. I like the moon pool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go. And with that, we now have a place to dock our moon pool. Oh, wow. It, it even connected to the... Uh, the biofuel room too. That's perfect. After weeks without human I like that. contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. As you see here, we have a spot for uh, loading our sea moth up with upgrades. Um, on the other side here. Oh, never mind. There's nothing on the other side. I thought there was. Uh, we still need a station, though, to build the upgrades, I believe. I don't think the fabricator has them. We can take a look. Let's see. Deployables. Is it in here? No. No. So th it's not in here. Um, but that's, that's not anything to really worry about. We'll still be able to uh, at least dock up here for now. Um, hopefully we'll be able to build a station to charge batteries soon too because this power cell is just about dead. Uh, when we get the proper setup, we can also change the color and rename it. So if you have any suggestions for what the name of my first sea moth should be, please leave it in the comments. Okay. On that note, that's that'll wrap it up for this episode. I was kind of hoping to accomplish a little bit more, but I'm still proud of what we managed to accomplish today. If you liked what you saw, please consider uh, leaving a comment, liking, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much, everyone.